What's going on? How y'all doing? So this video gonna be about Paul Ng in NG. Everybody know him about the Asian dude who had the two black brothers who were doing a YouTube segment on the streets. And he said, this is the no N-word zone. And he said he's a racist. Real estate agent, too. Done quite well for himself. Didn't think he was going to get that smoke. Didn't foresee that backlash. Now this turkey got fired and everybody know his face. Now he's trying to say he's sorry. Oh, no. Nah. He's sorry he got caught. See, and I'm going to say it like this. Asian, Japanese, you come from another country. You come over to America to be prosperous and do well. You come over to America to take care of your family and all your loved ones. But you also get the report. The report is stay away from Negroes. Now, you can be successful in the neighborhood. You can exploit them like white folks do in America. You can thrive, stay good in the community. Just don't say the wrong thing. Don't get too close. And don't and and just know how to maintain. He got on his high horse because he think he's white. He look he really did because he told them the no inward zone. Real estate agent. How many black people do you think he didn't gave bad advice to? You know he said, "Well, I don't want to bring the community down." That's white talk. That's not his talk. First of all, if you're an Asian descent person, and you're coming over or you're here in this country. You are already schooled about the difference between black and white folk, okay? And you've already, to build up that kind of, to say those kind of words, you've already been brought up with what you're going to lead yourself to. You know, they, America puts a good job of brainwashing power on, on, against black folks. People come over here. They know, don't let your daughter go over there. Don't get close to them. Stay away. Do this, do that. That is built in systematic racism. He ain't looking at you as people's people. Now, he gets his real estate license, and he's successful, and he goes on his way, usually. But he and technology had a change, and it caught him. And he's been, he's been doing foul stuff for years. How the police going to arrest him? See, this is what a problem I have. How can a police really arrest somebody for saying that when the propaganda has been promoted here? Because I do I need to pull up Donald Trump, but Charlottesville talking about we have good people on both sides. And you're Asian descent per man, and you see somebody says that that is green lighting the gas and the fuel on the flames of racism in the speech. So what you going to say? Now, I'm not condoning this racist trash dude. However, I'm pouring out to the hypocrisy that America sells against black folks to non-white folks that come over to the country and how they see us. See, that's the hypocrisy. That's the hypocrite that comes out. This dude usually... Says stuff and doesn't have any repercussions. And the only reason why he got fired from his real estate job is because it's it's blowing up. Because of everything that's happened. And if you are this Asian dude and you saw George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and everything that's going on in light of this pandemic and the pro everything that's going on, why would you put yourself to utter that mess out your mouth? Because you thought you were getting white privilege. Even though they don't care about you either. They would pimp your land and pimp you too. See, that's what happens when you don't have any identity of self. You start to think that you are simulating. You ain't going to never simulate here. So, I don't know about no charges or nothing. Now, he owes the, he owes the, the black dude, he owes him an apology. But charge him for what? So his rep, he lost his job. And everybody had seen him viral. And he's going to be known as a racist Asian dude. So, what else do you want? <laughs> he spoke how he felt. And to be real with you, he's conditioned to train like that, like so many others that come over here. See, that's where I'm coming from. They train like that. If he told the truth, 
the no inward zone. Where do you think he got that from? He got that from white world. He got that. That's how they tell him when you come over. Let's see. Think about it. Only when you when you ain't had no exposure, when you've been seeing what you see on TV, you let screens di- di- dictate your mindset. That's what you succumb to. All right, that's my thoughts and takes about Paul Nig, the the a the racist Asian dude who said the no end zone and how he got fired and how his whole world has like been flipped upside down. Give me your thoughts and your takes about him. Welcome comments to like and subscribe. The bell rings in the video. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for one another. And uh, th- there is a taught behavior. It is systematic institutionalized racism. And it don't matter what you do for a living. You see the reaction on these streets is real. I'm out.